A question that came in on our Facebook page was how to do a groin vault ceiling. So in this case right here, what you can see is I'm showing the finished result of what we're going to aim for, which is to have the curved or uh, barrel vault type ceiling running in both directions. And actually for this test, we're going to be going in and using the roof features to create this um, on the copy that I've got to the right hand side of the original. So changing into roof mode, one of the things that you can see is I'm going to open up the roof options and make sure that the default pitch is set to 1212. Then using the trace roof option, I'm going to sketch in a hip roof, modify that roof through the edit item feature and set it to have a zero inch overhang. I'm also going to get rid of the fascia, the soffit and the gutter on this roof. The next stage will be to go in and modify this to have a gable whereby the ridge line is running vertically on the roof. So in this case, using the right click edit, I will modify the roof plane at the top end of the roof to be a gable with a zero inch overhang. And I will do the same thing on the bottom side. In both cases, as I'm editing this to a gable, notice that I'm also turning off the gable end provided by roof. A quick review of the roof shows the gable as it references to the columns and the beams. In this case now, what we want to do is go in and modify the curve or the profile of the two corresponding hip edges for the gable roof. Changing back into the main floor plan and zooming in, we'll do a right click edit edge on the hip edge. Selecting the roof plane style, we can change this to a profile. Clicking on the roof profile name from here, we can modify it to a convex and then change the roof profile height and width to 62 and a half inches which is to say half the span of the roof at this given time. The same steps can now be repeated on the other corresponding hip edge. The next step in creating the groin vault will be to get the curved roof running in the opposite direction. Changing into the main floor plan, we're going to use the add false gable command to add two corresponding dormer roofs on top of the existing curved roof that is there. Using the add false gable, simply sketch the length of the hip roof edges on the existing roof that is there. Two dormers will now be placed. Using the right click edit, the roof can now be modified. Specify the width of the dormer. Select the gable tab. From the gable tab, we can go in and deselect things like soffits, fascias, and gable end provided by roof. Under the hip tab, we can change the roof plane style from hip to profile and then modify the profile height and width to suit. Once again, edit the roof. From here, select the Roof tab and specify the overall width of the dormer. Select the Gable tab. Remove items such as soffits, fascias, and gable ends provided by Roof. Next, select the Hip tab and change the Roof Plane style to Profile. Modify the height and width. A quick review of the roofs where they collide together shows that the curves need to have holes cut through them now in order to create the groin vault. This can be done within the drawing mode by selecting draw, hole, and auto hole. Clicking on where the roofs overlap will remove the lower of the two portions, thereby creating the groin.